Good morning, friends. Um, so this morning, we're starting our day with some caramel apple pie. I know that's a super healthy breakfast, but that's how I'm feeling today. <laughs> so um, we are also having coffee and cocoa and things to go with it. Just kind of a warm and cozy breakfast. And definitely, like I said, not healthy, but whatever. Um, you only live once, and today we're having pie. I ended up running into the dollar store this morning and finding a few things for Christmas, kind of early Christmas shopping. So I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. This Lisa Frank set is so cute. It was $20. Penny has been eyeing it every time we're in there. So I got that for her. I got Maddie this mega unicorn play set. She is always playing with Penny's unicorns and she's been really into those. So um, that'll give her her own unicorns. And then this is also for Penny. It is a Pets Alive. She is obsessed with the pets alive toys and so i went ahead and got that for her i know i keep hearing that like there's certain things are not in stock and so i wanted to make sure to get those right away before um maybe they don't have it guys i know i look rough since having covid i've got the worst rings under my eyes i've ever had and i don't sleep my hair's falling out and super thin and today I look extra rough because I barely slept and my shirt's all linty and I cannot get these little fuzzies off my new sweater. <sighs> but I don't look like a grandma. Somebody tell me I don't look like a grandma. This lady at the store, I just came in and grabbed a few things for James's dad while I was running some errands in town anyway. And I thought I'd grab a few Christmas presents early and, um, so I got Penny, the big Lisa Frank art set, and I got Maddie, the unicorn set, and the um, Cabbage Patch doll, and I got Penny, the pug puppy, because she saw that in a Christmas magazine, and she has been so worked up about wanting that so bad, and she takes really good care of her toys, so I said, sure, you know, Mama can try to get you that, and they had two, so I went ahead and grabbed her one anyways. Um, all that to say I was at the checkout and the cashier says boy your grandkids are so lucky they're gonna be so happy with the presents you got them my what I I was like um my my grandkids and she said well you're shopping for your grandkids right uh no I have a four-year-old I'm not a grandma and nor will I be a grandma anytime soon so that was fun <laughs> i laughed though i was like um no do i look that bad today but anyway yeah i'm gonna go take my father-in-law the stuff that he needed me to pick up while i'm in town he didn't want to come into town it's rainy and cold and ugh, 45 i think degrees so i am in town getting my stuff getting his stuff getting his mail for him and he hides the kids Christmas presents at his house for me so I'm gonna go over there and drop off presents and um, his mail and stuff and I know that I need to get more cranberry sauce made for Thanksgiving too so I need to do that which means I need to run by Anthony's real quick and buy some frozen cranberries or fresh cranberries if they have them so I'm gonna go pick up some cranberries and then I'm gonna go drop off his stuff go home drink some coffee do some cleaning and then we will be doing some baking and some canning i'm just gonna get this day underway guys and pretend i don't feel like and apparently look like a grandma yeah so miss penny wanted to learn to make cranberry sauce and she did such a good job helping me with this um she dumped all our cranberries in there she zested the orange she juiced the orange she helped me measure out all the sugar and the water and everything and if you guys would like a recipe for this i will put the recipe in the description box below that we use um, i do add a little bit more orange zest than what uh, the recipe calls for but that's just my preference and you can certainly do whatever suits you Cranberry sauce is super easy to make on your own if you are interested in making your own cranberry sauce. You just cook everything down until all the cranberries pop and then you jar it up and you run it through your pressure, not your pressure canner, but your water bath canner and you're done. So um, if, like I said, you want to make cranberry sauce, it is a good place for 
um, early canning, beginning canning, things like that. Um, and I don't know if you guys eat as much as we do, but cranberry sauce is actually something we eat year round. Um, especially the kids and I, James eats it now and then, but with roasted pork or with, um, roasted chicken, we also have it, um, Sometimes I will put it over the top of a pork loin in the slow cooker. And I've also done it mixed with barbecue sauce and meatballs in the slow cooker. Um, it's just, it, cranberries are so good for you that I don't see a point in only eating them at Thanksgiving and possibly Christmas. And so we eat them all the time. This is pretty close to done. I'm gonna let it go for about 10 more minutes and then we'll jar it up. Okay guys, so here's what it looks like in the jars. Then you just take your um, air bubble remover, move that around in the jar, make sure you have no air in them. Um, wipe the rims with vinegar, put the lids on and run them through your water bath canner and you're done. So this is how many jars we got from those cranberries. I like to buy them um, pre-Thanksgiving time, frozen, like the bags of fresh ocean spray cranberries that they normally have out in the produce area. My grocery store puts them over in the frozen fruit and stuff when it's not Thanksgiving time and stuff, and I can get the bags too for a dollar. Yes, there is a fly on that jar because my kids don't close doors around here and we're born in a barn, I think. Um, anyways, that's our finished cranberry sauce. Okay guys, so this was my accomplishment of the day because I was feeling a little bit run down and um, after running errands and things and getting this done, I just didn't want to do anything else. The kids and I ordered a cheese pizza from um, the pizza place in town and some garlic butter and we had a salad and that was dinner. I didn't film anything else. We just hung out, watched movies and had our pizza and our salad and um, we went to bed early. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys our cranberry sauce though and how it turned out. So I hope you guys will try this out and enjoy it as much as we do. Anyways, I'm gonna get this put up. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us today. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment below, even if you're just gonna complain about the fly or something else I did wrong. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.